What do we have here? It seems you have wandered into quite the predicament, haven't you? Well, don't just stand there gawking. Explain yourself. I've encountered jellyfish with more spine than you. Stop tripping on your own words and answer me. What are you doing in my waters? Hmm. You're fishing here? <laughs> so in other words, taking what doesn't belong to you. But thankfully for me, not too much. Based on the size of your catch, either the sirens have stolen your bounty, or your luck just isn't treating you well today. <laughs> hmm. In fact, based on your current dilemma, I doubt luck was ever on your side at all. Did you really think you could trespass here? Take what is rightfully mine and then scurry off with your stolen prize in tow? Really now? <laughs> Who could have thought something so small could have so much stupidity? You didn't know you were in my part of the sea, hmm? <laughs> Little one, you misunderstand. The entire ocean is my realm. And, like the ocean, I can be calm and gentle when I please. It would be so easy to show mercy to something so small and adorable as you. However, more often than not, I am ruthless and unforgiving, especially when it comes to trespassers. Do not repeat your apology. Ignorance is no excuse. And do not dare to suggest you'll be leaving. You're not leaving. Not now, not ever. Please, do not squirm so violently. In fact, you should be thanking me. At a moment's notice, I could have crushed you into a pulp. He holds you on your own ship, drag you down into the lifeless dark. But you're too... cute for all of that. Instead, I will devour you. Infinitely preferable to the other options, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Besides, in satiating with me, you will be accomplishing more in death than you could ever have hoped to in life. Ooh, so the lowly urchin has a spine after all. <laughs> I haven't been talked to like that in quite some time. Your bravery is admirable, but ultimately pointless. Life is cruel, little one. The sooner you accept that, the easier this will be. <laughs> and you know, I suppose I was wrong earlier. You are quite lucky, aren't you? Most of us have to live with our mistakes. But you? You get to die by yours. Now, prepare to... Wait... You smell familiar. Yes. I'm surprised I didn't notice the stench earlier. You're one of those miserable, tactless lagoon men. What am I talking about? 
I'm talking about you and your kind. You are all a plague upon my waters, constantly sailing through them without permission, discarding into your empty crates, your disease-ridden livestock, your waste. Despite my attempts to frighten them off, your village routinely desecrates my ocean with no regard for who is living in it. Quiet. Do not test me, mongrel pup. Do not apologize when you certainly don't mean it. Your town has worn my patience to the point where it is paper thin. In fact, after this latest transgression, I say I've run out of my patience. And unlike the others I've encountered, your scent is still fresh. <laughs> Yes, little one. By the look on your face, I know you understand what comes next. Now that I know your town's whereabouts, I will grant them... No, quarter. As I devour their flesh and grind their bones to dust, they will cry out for mercy and receive... None. I will cast them down, screaming into Davy Jones' locker. And you will watch. <laughs> is, is that a prayer? I thought you were smarter than that. Believe me, little one, whatever God you are praying to cannot help you or your people. You're praying to him? D don't you know? He's not a god. He's a devil. A monster that delights in tricking mortals, cursing them with affection, only to reveal that affection to be... one-sided. <sighs> but it matters not. He can't save your village. Not him, not anyone. You are forsaken. Why am I so cruel? <laughs> Look at me and what do you see? An abomination, a serpent. Acting callous and cruel is what monsters do. <sighs> I wasn't always like this, though. I was once... Beautiful. But, but not anymore. I am what I am now. And as long as I live, I will ensure that the ceaseless wheel of suffering continues to turn. I will spread terror and death wherever I go. Make the world share my pain. No. <laughs> You're quite cute when you try to act strong. You truly care about your village, don't you? <laughs> well, let's make this a little more interesting, shall we? I will forget your wrongdoings and spare the people of your lagoon, but only if you travel there in my steed. Tell them of what you encountered here. Make them tremble at the mere thought of sailing in my waters. If you do that, if I see that none of your ships enter my ocean in the next three days, then I will consider us even and your town will be spared. What insurance do you have that I'll keep my word? <laughs> None whatsoever. As you can probably guess by now, any assurance I would provide would be worthless. But that does not change the fact that you may be your village's only hope for survival. Remember, 
I will take your people's fear and their absence from my ocean as payment. But I could take their lives as payment if you force me to. So, what will it be? Good. Also, one more thing. Funnily enough, I actually enjoy this little exchange of ours. So, after the three days have passed, return to this exact spot so we may talk more. It would be foolish of me not to hold on to a treasure as precious as you. <laughs> also, I may even help you gather fish if I feel so inclined. Your village will be needing all they can get now, won't they? I'm glad we're in agreement. Well, for better or worse, I'll be seeing you very soon. Goodbye, little one.